Hello world. Hello and welcome. Today I'm not sitting on a rock, today I'm sitting on a bench outside the Islamic castle of Ajaloon. Ajaloon was built in 1184 as an outpost to fight against the Franks. Um, it was used as a garrison and a communicating tower and a restocking post for the Islamic forces that were fighting against the Crusaders. So the Crusades were in the 1100s, the first Crusades anyway. So here's a site that has Damascus to the north. It has the other sites that we've kind of visited, um, like Jarash and uh, Amman, Philadelphia, to the south on the way down to Mecca. This is not one of the Decapolis cities. This is not from that Hellenistic Greek or Roman period. This is definitely an Islamic site. Um, as I say, built in 18, um, 1184 and then was rebuilt in 1214. It's a pretty impressive place. <laughs> Let's go and have a look. You can see it's not a um, medieval tower because it doesn't have the, um, um, what do you call them? Merlons and crenelles, the crenulations the um, up and down sections where the people used to fire arrows from between. So it does not have crenulations, but it does have machiculations. So I'll show you those as we go in, especially as you come into the walkway. If you look up, you can see where the hot oil would be poured from the top, right on top of you as you come in. Another interesting thing about this site, and it's a perfect site for a castle, <clears throat> because it's on the top of a hill and it only has one access point. So you'd call this a spur castle because no siege engines would be able to come up from the, the back here and you only have this one access point, which at the moment is a static bridge, but in its day it would have been a drawbridge. So you only had the one access point. The one disadvantage of one access point is that your supply line can be easily cut off. So if you don't have your stocks inside the castle and your supply line is blocked, <clears throat> you are in big trouble. So let's go and have a look at Ajaloon Castle. If you get an opportunity to watch some of the other videos, the ones about Kadak Castle and uh, Showbook Castle, which were um, Crusader castles from the First Crusade in 1199 built by Baldwick the, Baldwin the First of Jerusalem and of course you had Baldwin 1, 2, 3, 4 and the one that I'm really really in, interested in is Baldwin the Fourth just because he has that real connection with Renard de Chillon Renard Chillon if you ever watch the movie mm, 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 Heaven of Christ, Heaven of Something it's about the um, the leper king, um, Baldwin the Fourth, and uh, there's a character in that that's portrayed really badly, who's Reynard. But when you actually look at him, in a more um, examine him in thoroughly, you'll find that even though he was born of poor um, French nobility, he married um, someone. He married someone, he was 28 and he married somebody and then became more important and then rose through the ranks. He was actually captured by Saladin and was not ransomed for 17 years. So he actually built a very um, strong fighting ethic. He was pretty mad anyway, I suspect. But once he... The, the, the other crusaders wouldn't ransom him, so just regular people ransomed him after 17 years. And by then his first wife had died and then he married, oh, he married um, de Milly <clears throat> at Carrack Castle. Stephanie, Stephanie de Milly at um, Carrack Castle. 
and from there he did raids to the Red Sea and was a real side in, a thorn in Saladin's side. And so at the Battle of, I'm going to say it's Hattin, 11 something or other, <clears throat> Saladin saw his opportunity, I think, to kill Renard, Renal, Renal, the Chilion. But when we get to the other castles, we'll uh, examine that more closely. So this is actually a dry moat, and this is where the drawbridge would have been. And you can see on the side, let me see if I can point it out. There's a lot of, a lot of shadow and sun, shadow and shade. You can see that little square section and you can see the corbels that are just coming to the side where the extra floor is um, resting. I'll see if I can get a better image of that. So as you're looking at this entrance, this is almost like a barbican where you've only got the one way in and this would be the drawbridge. But then you can see over the side there, you can see the corbels holding that additional, oh, 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 there's a corbel. This little thing just here is a corbel. And what that is doing is extending the, the, the ability of the wall to have an extra floor. As you're walking up the stairs into Ajaloon Castle, you'll come across the first line of defense. What's well, probably the second? Because the first line of defence is the dry moat, and the second line of defence is going to be arrow slits. And when we go around the corner just up here, we may see another one. So if you have survived coming across the drawbridge, missed the arrow slits, what you will then get will be the machiculation. And the machiculation is that little gap just up there and what they're going to do with their hot oil or their burning rocks they're going to drop it down onto you so you've survived the drawbridge you survived the arrows and now you're going to get boiled pretty rough stuff coming into Ajaloon castle so you've entered into this first room and then you will come in to one of the new extensions of the, on the... So with the room being this big, built into the bedrock, some gutters here, I would suspect potentially this will be a storeroom or somewhere where you'd have the animals because it is so close to the entrance and you'd have to have your stores stocked somewhere. And through there, you can see that it gains access to other parts of the, the castle. Every castle has to have a water supply. If you don't have a water supply, you can't sustain life. So the well on this castle is here. And if that was the storeroom back there, that would be a really perfect location for it. When we come around here, and we look up onto this stairwell along here, you can actually see into the stone the section where it's been worn away. So what would happen is the drawbridge, a heavy wooden oh, drawbridge, would have rope, ropes, and they would be tethered to a horse, and the horse would be used to pull the drawbridge open. So you'd be using a pivot point like this to open the drawbridge. So there's not much light on here <laughs> in Ajaline Castle right at this minute. But when we come up here, this would almost be like a garrison room. This is another arrow slit, just a little bit higher. 
But the important part of this room is probably where you held most of your weapons. This is the machiculation. This is the top. Let's see if anybody's going to walk underneath. No, nobody's walking down there at the moment. But this is where you would drop your boiling water or your hot oil down onto your enemies if they'd have got over the drawbridge, got past the arrows and got to the front of the castle. Just looking at that framework over where that machiculation is, that archway is just superb and it's not a keystone, it's a lodestone. Oh, I can never remember. <laughs> That small little lodestone is pushing the rocks either side, keeping the arch. This is the way that you can have a vaulted arch. On the first level, as you've come up the stairs and you've gone into that room where there's the machiculation, you go down another couple of winding corridors and you find five or six massive rooms like this, which would either have been storerooms would have been where the garrison slept, where the food was stored or the um, ammunition was stored. So this is all on that kind of first level as you come in. And then the second level is the mosque level. And then the two layers above that is the castle. Just fabulous. And this would be a representation of what the different weapons would look like that they would have fired from this castle. My goodness. Is that a piece of bell rock? <laughs> wow. So they've used the natural hill to build around the castle. Look at the size of that boulder. So I'm walking out of where what would have been the storeroom or whatever on that first level and I'm coming through this doorway and I've been through this doorway a few times before but what I have noticed this time that I didn't notice before is that round circle and a round circle on the other side over here somewhere that round circle just there that would be where the post of the door would be for the to open the door it's the pivot point that's fabulous. So the next little room is the small museum. So don't miss that. That's a fabulous space. Early Bronze Age. They're just beautiful little pots. This one pieced together. Oh, these ones will be grinding stones, mortar and pestle, sabots. Stones, oh, pipes, clay pipes. Yeah. Top of a cooking pot. That's spectacular. Yeah. And we can't leave a museum without seeing some beautiful, beautiful oil lamps. Just spectacular. Now, as this is an Islamic castle, Ajalun Castle, 
it has its own mosque. So as you come into the mosque, you have the ablutions room where you do your, your washing. You wash, wash, wash. These amazing vaulted ceilings here. And this is the mosque area of Ajaloon Castle. So even if you were unfamiliar with the architecture of castles and Islamic castles, um, with having the ablution space, the ablution room, just when you come in is a sign that this is a mosque. And the other sign that this is a mosque is the shape of that stone just there. And so basically what this is, this is the Qibla. This is pointing towards Mecca, um, which probably when this was built, 11, yes, yeah, it would be towards Mecca, it won't be towards Petra. But that's another handy hint to tell you what kind of building and structure this one is. In some of the information that you read about Ajaloon Castle, it's also called the Maze Castle because it is actually four layers. So that entry layer was where the garrison would be, where the workers, where the soldiers would be. The second level is the mosque, so the, the praying and the religious area. And then as we go into the third and fourth level, well, that's the palace level, the castle level. So we've been to the mosque, which is that room just there. So let's go and explore the next couple of layers. As you're coming up the stairs, this is the first kind of room that you see. And you know, you know that it's a room because it's really important. This space just here is a fireplace and that's the flue. Coming into this large space, large area, it is another really important part of any castle. Other than then, there's a broken basin there. <laughs> this is the kitchen and dining room. So this is a really important space. And here's the massive fireplace. Stairs going up to somewhere else in the castle. Overlooking Ajaloon Forest. As you actually walk <coughs> through Ajaloon Castle, oh, there's a bright light there. You're going to see lots of wells and lots of water courses because rainwater was collected and snow, melting snow was collected to use as a water source up here on the hill. So even though this is an Islamic castle built in 1184, it does have the remnants of a Byzantine church in it. <clears throat> and some of the significant parts of that is this cornucopia. So you have the horn and you have the wheat and you have the, the grains, etc. So you have the symbol of fertility in this space. The other really important thing about this space is the loaves and the fishes is a mosaic of the loaves and the fishes. So the centre circle, and around the circle you have the fish and the little diamond shaped uh, representing the loaves, so the loaves and the fishes. And as a normal Byzantine church, you have an altar area where it's kind of like the iconastra, the iconium would be over here with the altar in this space over here. Fabulous. Coming out of that Byzantine chapel area, which I think is about the third level, two and a half level, something like that. And then you come to this room, where it doesn't necessarily have a wall, but it has a doorway somewhere to go through. It has to be an important room, because there's another fireplace with a flue. And there's kind of unhewn rocks just 
wedged together and then uh, put some form of mortar between them. So, I have arrived to the top of the castle. And yes, there are locals climbing on the rocks outside the safety barrier. Welcome to Jordan. But the interesting part of here is from looking over here, over in this space over here behind that hill is Lake Tiberus. We would call that the Sea of Galilee where Jesus was supposedly to walk on water. What you have in the haze all along there is the Jordan Valley and what you have behind this rock behind over here is Jerusalem to get yourself an orientation of where we are. So I hope you enjoyed that little visit to Ajaloon Castle, the 1184 uh, Islamic castle. There is so much to see in Jordan. Please, please come and visit. Please come and play with me. There's so much to see and do. Winter seems to be a good time because the weather isn't too bad. It's much cooler. This is very uh, hard, hard yards in the summertime when it's really hot. But please enjoy. Stay safe. Love you. <laughs> come to Jordan.